let's walk down here. You can tell somebody has worked in here. They've, uh, see, they pulled this up right here, and then they went down a hole. They've dug right there. And they're throwing all their rocks up here. They're probably classifying and throwing all their rocks. And this here is pretty well bedrock right here. So what I want to do is find yourself a bigger rock. Oh, welcome to Gold Fever Adventures. I'm Jack Tucker. I'm out here in the Arizona desert again. <laughs> Seems like I'm always out here in the Arizona desert, probably because I live here in Arizona. I'm up here in the mountains. Now, this is the area that we've always called Gold Hill. Been a lot of gold has come off of this area. The word is getting out and people are up here dry washing and metal detecting galore but they're doing, they're missing something. I'm gonna go over there and check it out. I'm gonna be doing me a little bit of vacuuming today. I'm gonna vacuum up the desert, then I'll take it on back to my place. And I don't know how I'll process, whether I just pan it or run it through some other piece of equipment, but that's what I'm gonna be doing today. It's a nice overcast day. It's probably only about 63 degrees outside right now. It's nice and cool. It may rain here a little bit later, and you know what's going to happen once it rains? It's going to ruin the dirt here in the desert to be doing any dry washing. Metal detectors might still work okay, as long as it's not muddy and you're walking around in slush and mud and stuff. But so I want to get down in this uh, little wash here, and I'll show you what they're doing wrong. But I want to see if I can get me some gold. There's some nice, chunky gold that they're pulling off out of this area. But anyways, I want to thank you guys coming along and sharing on these adventures. Find yourself a bigger rock. And what you do is just kind of see how that sounds hard. Go along here. Okay, right there. See how soft that, that sounds? This stuff right there. See how that's breaking apart? You can hear that's hard. Hard. You can see it right here. See the soft stuff? See that doesn't thub. It just breaks apart. They didn't do none of that stuff. Look at the seam that's running right through here. It's almost like a deteriorated clay. This is what I'm going to break apart and vacuum. All of this in here. Look at all this in here. They didn't bust no bedrock up. They vacuumed it, but they didn't get down busting the bedrock. See the seams again running through here? See how hard that sounds? And then get down here. See, different sound. That stuff is soft. That holds the gold in there. That is what I'm going to vacuum. I'm going to give me some busting material. And I'm going to bust this stuff up. Now, if you've never seen one of these uh, vacuums before, just regular nozzles, it's on a five gallon bucket. And what this is, is a leaf blower that sits up on top of it. So what's happening is this creates a suction at the bottom of that, and that's what's sucking the dirt right into the bucket. And then the exhaust blows out here, and all the dust and all of that, and the dirt and the heavies and all that just stay in the bucket. And once I'm pretty well full, this will pretty well won't suck anymore. And then I know that I'm done. So I'm gonna go ahead and fire this up and start busting some of this bedrock.
there. I didn't even get that. Crack all the way in there. Some nice gold can get down in there and hide. It's all crack all along here. They, they didn't even clean that out. Now cleaned it out. All these seams. Wear you out. I think I got a little bit in the bucket. Shut that thing off. I got a little bit of that. Oh no, don't put your hand in there. That will shock you if you put your hand in there. Static electricity builds up. You put your hand in there to grab something, it'll shock you. It's like sometimes you turn the motors off. And they'll shock you because of the static electricity builds up. Well, I think that's a little fair amount of dirt I can just for a few. I just want to see if there's any gold in these cracks right here. I don't want to spend all day and not find anything. So just a little sample. I can always come back. Uh, I don't think anybody else will be digging in here. So shh, they don't know what I know or what you're gonna know. <laughs> yeah. So I can come back and dig some more. But that's good enough, I think, for me for now. You know, there's gold in here. There's lots of this cracks I can still crack open. See, I missed all types of stuff. I left a lot of this behind. A lot of this I left behind, so I can always come back. Look at all this dirt that they missed. That these guys, and they were taking this here. They left all this, look at this, all this up above here. All of this dirt. This is all good stuff. All of this, see that? All of this is good stuff. And they left it all, look at this, hard packed. 
down in here. They left all of that, all of it, all the way up there. And on the other side right here too. You know, it's like a lot of these miners, when they come up here, they just get the easy stuff and, and they forget where the real gold could lie at. So that's what I come along afterwards and clean up and I get the gold. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'll haul this bucket and this back down to the truck. Now, I don't have too far to go down to the truck. Let me get this stuff back down to the truck. Okay, there's that there. Now I got me one of these buckets here with the lid on so I can transfer this over into here. Like so. I don't want this in the truck. This one has holes. I'd lose it. I'd lose all my gold. Nice little lid. I can just put that lid on there. Twist that lid right there like that. Nice and secure. Now I won't lose it. Now when the truck goes, so if it falls over, I's good. Got my gold. Truck's all loaded up. So now, guess I gotta head out of here. Man, who we got here? What are you doing up here? Doing a little detecting. Detecting? See, detecting and uh, and uh, grabbing some material out with a vacuum. See what we can come up with. Yeah. Did you find any gold detecting? We have not found any gold detecting yet, but um, not here anyway. But no? uh, definitely found some in the washes. So, wow, that's a bummer. Yeah, we'll get it. But he did find an old button, an old metal button. Oh, that's cool. Heck, that's worth more than any gold. I would trade that for some gold. Sweet. Well, you got a deal. <laughs> hey, all right. Let's do it, man. That's rare. I find gold all the time. I don't find buttons all the time. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty cool one. It's probably pretty old. I hear somebody else down in this wash. There's somebody else over here, huh? You go walking away, you can find all types of people everywhere. There's a hole right there. You don't want to find a fall in that hole right there. Oh, look. Who is that down there? I'll just see if I can zoom in on them. There's somebody down there playing. What are you doing down there? Hi. Good day. <laughs> Hi, hello. Oh, you're doing some vacuuming? Yeah, we'll be back. The old timers, they just cut this seam right out. They went right down in there. You wouldn't want to fall down in there. Hello, down there, anybody down there? No, nobody but us miners. Well, I guess I'm going to head on back to the home front. And then I'll pan some of this out and we'll see if we find anything good. Yeah, hopefully we will. Well, here's me a little panty tub filling up with water right now. Here's me my dirt. I'm just going to take scoops there, put it into the pan. A couple scoops there. And one more. Four scoops. That was nice clean water. Now it won't be the clean much more. Okay. Put the riffles in the front. Stratify the crap out of that stuff. Shake, 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 shake. Probably should have classified this material down a little bit. Because see there's bigger rocks in there. You don't like those bigger rocks when you're panning. Got to get rid of those big rocks. And it's not good to get rid of them out of your pan like that. Better to classify the material down. But I'm uh, just going to quickly pan. This was just a test, remember? This was just a test. Just to see. Just to see. Just to see. I don't see nothing in there. I don't see nothing in there. Oh, there's a flick in there. See that one little flick in there? Do you see that? Oops, I lost it. I lost a little flick. There was a little flick in there. A little flick of gold. Oh well, I'll put some more in there and pan some more out.
Put another four scoops in there. Four scoops. Four scoops. Paint this up now. Should just reach in there. I'm gonna shut this water off. It's gonna get me wet. Reach in. Mix all that stuff up. Okay, riffles in the front. Shake, 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 shake. Oh, now it's splashing out. I'm getting wet now. Now it's getting wet. Get that gold down there at that bottom. Okay. And now, quickly pan that out. I know I'm panning fast. I'm panning fast, but I just want a sample. I'm just testing. I'm just seeing if that bedrock had any gold in it. That's all. If there's good gold, I can always go back. If there's not, well, I had a little bit of fun today. Okay, let's see. So there should still be that. Oh, see, now there's, oh, there's, that one's a little bit bigger. See that? See, now there's a couple of them in there. Now there's a couple of them in there. That one is getting, was bigger. It's getting better. Let's put some more scoops in here. A couple more pieces, couple more pieces. See that? Couple more little pieces. Getting better. Ooh, that one's got some chunk to it. That's what I would expect. Some chunk. Let me get some more dirt in there. Another one. Another one. They're just getting better all the time. I don't know if you can see that. Probably got to get you under the sun. Got to get you under the sun. Getting better all the time. I'll show you this when I'm done. I'll show you when I'm all done. I'm going to put the rest of this in there. Put it all in.
get in the sun. Look at this. Not bad at all. Good old Arizona gold. Yee ha 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 ha. Yeah. Not bad for the little bit I done. Not bad at all. That's not bad for just doing a little bit of vacuuming. Nothing big. A couple little chunky little pieces. I see some little chunks on them. So it looks like it didn't travel too far, but there's more up there. But that little bit I vacuumed, yeah, that's pretty good, I think. Pretty, pretty good. That's not bad gold at all. For that little bit that I did, a little bit of vacuuming, that bucket was probably only about a quarter full. Was probably all I got out of there. So I don't know how good those guys did, you know, that were shoveling down there. When you tend to pick and shovel and classify, you work some of that gold deeper down through the ground, the dirt. But they did vacuum. They did do that. They did not scrape the bedrock or bust any of that bedrock loose. But as much area that they had cleaned off there, I'm going to surmise they were getting some nice gold. And that means the gold that flew down through that wash and got trapped in all that bedrock. And that's some of the stuff that I was breaking up and finding. And I didn't do that much work either. That means I got to go back up there again and get some more of that type of stuff. That was fun. But anyways, I got to get out. Got to, uh, before the rains come, you know, it's supposed to be raining here any time. And then we're going to be done for, ooh, I think I just felt the raindrop. Uh, then we're going to be done for a while because there's no more dry washing. Once that mud gets in there, we're pretty well done. Metal detectors, you might be able to put some boots on and, and you know, metal detect through the mud. And that's even kind of tough, too. So when the rains come, we tend to hide and relax for a while. But anyways, got me some gold, and that's what was important. That's what was important, important. That's what was important. Anyways, hey, right, guys, thanks for coming along and sharing on these adventures. If you're one of my subscribers, Patreon channel supporters, sure appreciate you guys. If you're not a channel supporter, reach down right now, hit that subscribe button, help support the channel, continue to grow. It's growing good, and, and thanks to you guys for helping it grow. But you guys all be safe out there. Take care. Get out your, there and get yourself some of that little bit of that yellow gold. It's all over out there. So, hey, until our paths cross again, you guys all be safe. Take care of yourselves. And thanks for watching. See you.